this video, we are going to look at another exam style question. You will find this on page 135 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The diagram shows a quadrilateral A, B, C, D in which A is this, B is this and C is this. The diagonals A, C and B, D intersect at M. Angle BMA is 90 degrees and, and BM, BM is equal to MD. Calculate the coordinates of M and D. So I'm going to find M and I'm going to find D. Okay, now let's start. To find point M, first find the equation of AC. Where is AC? Let's just find it. AC. And uh, find, first find the equation of AC and BD. Because you have, you have two points, you know it's perpendicular. So start with the one where you have the two points to find that gradient and the equation. And then because it's perpendicular, you can find also the perpendicular gradient and you have a point. So you can easily find that two equations and then solve it simultaneously to find M. Okay, so first find the gradient, it's a half. The gradient of AC. AC, that's a half. Okay. Then, I basically fill it in and I fill any of the points in. I just decide C, but you could have also used A. And then I find my equation. And now, the equation of BD. I find the gradient of BD. The gradient. And that is now... Remember, it's the reciprocal. So if this is a half, that's the reciprocal 2, and the signs swap. So it's negative 2. So basically, I then just substitute that point also in, and I'm getting the equation. So now, as soon as I have, to have the two equations, I can, I can solve them simultaneously to find m. So I put it equal to each other, I find the value of x, I substitute it in one of the equations, doesn't matter which one, I find y, and there is my, my coordinate of m. Okay, find the vectors from b to md. Uh, okay, let's, we would just want to say, okay, the coordinates of m and d. Now, where is d? So now, I, I do this vector method here. So basically, if I'm having m now, now what is that, 5 and 2? Now, I'm going to Okay, so let's first find the x. So it's 3 to 5, that's 2 units. So basically, it will be also 2 units to this side then. Do you agree there? So that will be 7. So basically, I will get then that this one will be 7. And then let's look at the y values. That's from 6 down uh, to 2, that's minus 4. So if I go from um, 2 and I go down um, 4, then it will be negative 2. That's, that's the easiest way to just do it with that pattern or with the vectors. So then it's 7 and negative 2. And then the ratio AM, okay, that's basically you must find distance now. So AM, you have your two coordinate points. And MC, you have your two coordinate, just work out that distance, both of them. And then if you compare it, now there I make use of that search where I simplify. So if I compare, I divide square root to the right, then it will be 3 to 2. And that's how you do it. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 24. This is right here, try now 24. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. So let's start. The diagram shows three points. This is the three points. Uh, point X lies on AB, I don't have the coordinate, and CX is perpendicular, very important, to AB. Find by calculators the coordinate of X. Now, I can find this gradient, do you see? And if I have this gradient and I have a point, do you see? 
then I can basically go and find that equation also. Okay, and if I have that equation, uh, then I must actually find the equation also of A, B, and I solve it simultaneously to get that point. Quite a lot of things that I'm going to do here, but let's start. Okay, so let's first find. I'm first going to find the gradient of A, B. And that, okay, so let's just write down point A. Point A is 2 and 14. And point B is 14 and 6. And again, remember, if you start, you, you don't even have to number it here. But just, just, oh, can I just, just want to take this a little bit lower. So if I find M of AB, if you start with this point, just keep on, okay, so take the Y values. So it's 6 minus 14. Start again with this one. And it's 14 minus 2. Okay, my line is was quite long. It's not necessary. Okay. So, this is going to be 6. So, it's going to be negative 8. And this four, and it's going to be 12. So, this is going to be negative. Ne 4 can go in 2 times. And it can go in 3 times. So, negative 2 over 3. Okay. So, the perpendicular. So, that is for that one. So, I know that this gradient... This gradient is negative 2 over 3. I know that this gradient is positive 3 over 2. Okay. So, if I'm now going to find the equation, let's find the equations of both. Let's first find the equation. Of AB, because I'm, I'm working with that one now. So... I'm just going to say I can take any point. So let, let's decide which point will I take. This one. This is x, y. This is m. So basically I'm going to say y minus, and in the place of y, I put 14. And in the place of x, I put 2. So y minus 14, negative 2 over 3x, plus 4 over 3. So y is equal to negative 2 over 3x. And now, oh, sorry, my pen again. So it's going to be 4. Um, if I add that 14, I'm going to get 15 and a third. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to find the equation of this perpendicular one. So let's make the equation of Cx. Okay, so I'm first going to find, so M Cx, don't forget it's perpendicular. So basically, it's going to be positive 3 over 2. And point C is going to be 7 and 2. Then it's going to be x1, y1. And then it's y minus y1. It's 3 over 2, x minus x1. And this is going to be y minus 2, 3 over 2x, minus 21 over 2. And if I simplify this, I'm going to say y is equal to 3 over 2x, and then it's going to be, let me see, 2 plus that 2. It's going to be negative 8 and a half. And now to find x, so let's mount up equation 1, 2, so, solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. Mm. 
then I'm going to basically get um, negative 2 over 3. <laughs> I keep on forgetting that x. Okay, luckily if I look up and the same, if you look up and you see mistakes, please correct it. Negative 2 over 3 x plus 15 and a third is equal to 3 over 2 x minus 8 and a half. So negative 2 over 3x minus 3 over 2x equal to negative 8 and a half minus 15 and a third. So it's negative 2 over 3 minus 3 over 2. Okay, I'm working with fractions. I just do it. If it's, if it's necessary, I use my calculator. Just to spare a little bit of time. So negative. Okay, let's just run. Okay, and I get a negative 23 and 5 over 6. And if I, oh, let's just move this, move it a little bit up. And if I divide both sides by negative 2, 1 over 6, negative 2, 1 over 6. So divide. ABC. And then I get neg um, 11 because it's positive. And if I want to find the value of y, I just substitute it anywhere. Let's do it in the green. Oh, it seems to me my 11 didn't come out. Okay, put 11. So it's 3 ABC times 11. And then my answer of Y is equal to 8. So therefore, X is equal to 11 and 8. Okay. And then the final one. The, uh, the ratio of AX and XB. So I must find the distance of AX, and now um, I'm going to do it in this case <laughs> here, just that I can see. Usually I don't like to do it, but I think in this case it's going to help you. Okay, so let's do number B. AX. We'll get the A. AX, okay, and now, okay, let's just write the points down. So A, it's always good first to write it down. What is A again? 2 and 14. You don't make mistakes. You have X now. What is X? 11 and 8. And then it's going to be, that, okay, Y, 11 minus 2 squared plus, remember you start here, so, it's 8 minus 14 square. And this is going to be 9 square plus negative 6. And that is going to be 81 plus 36. And that's 117. Okay. Okay. And then I'm just going to do the next one. Okay, let's just get uh, XB. Now again, let's take another color. XB. And again, um, let's just say X. We have X. Let's just bring B in. What is B? 14 and 6. So basically, I'm just going to do it quickly. I'm just going to do exactly the same. So if I start with this one, remember I focus there and there. So, so it's 14 minus 11 squared, okay, plus, and then it's 6 minus 8 squared. Okay, so this is going to be 3 squared. Plus, and this is going to be negative 2 squared. So this is going to be 9 
plus that 4, so it's square root 30. Now, just do it like we did ratio. So say AX, uh, what is the ratio? Just check the one they said first. AX to XB, very important that you check that. You write it in that order. Okay, so AX was square root 117. This one is square root 13. But just check. If you say square root, and you can, I, I actually want to show you, I'll see, yeah. Okay, but say square root uh, 117, divide square root 13, and it's free. So it's going in, so if you divide it by that one and this one, then it's, this, so divide square root 13, then it's got, the ratio is going to be 3 to 1. And that's the final one. I just want to show you, in this case, you could have also, let's just move it up, you could have write this in the simplest form, um, in terms of search. So if you take 117 and you take, and you find the prime factors, so I know 3 can divide, 7, 8, 9, so 3 can then in, go into how many times? 39. And then 3 can go in 13. So basically, and I just want, because I just want, it's actually also an easy way to see. Then you could have said, because it's 3 squared times 13, that is now, and this one was just 13. So it's 3 square root 13 to 13. And then basically it was easy to see. I can divide by square root 13, square root 13, and then I would have also get 3. Two, one. Just wanted to show you that you also could have to do it with that method.